Let's go to the lifeline for the show, which are the telephone callers. Good evening, Patrick from Nigeria. You're most welcome to Straight Talk Africa. Shaka, good evening, our guest. You're pa terrific. Patrick How are you? Mm -hmm. I'm fine, sir. So, so, Patrick will come for here in Arujuku, Nigeria. I want to find out from uh, the prof, prof sir. <clears throat> Looking at the situation on the ground, you see that some of these things, as you rightly said, these are the result of political talks that we're having all this. In. Now, prof, a situation whereby, like what we see on the paper today, where an underage child was given 200 naira to go and bomb a park, a motor park. Now, prof, what advice will you give we parents? Looking at the scenario, what is happening now? A child of less than 15 years, given 200 naira. Are we saying that the parents have failed to do their responsibilities, or the society have failed, or the parents don't want to see what's going on? Because as a, as a parent, you should know the whereabouts of your child at a particular moment. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much, Patrick. Uh, let me uh, go to Ghana before I come to you, Professor. Uh, good evening, Tafa from Ghana. You're most welcome straight to Africa. Hello, good evening, Shaka. Usually terrific. How are you today? Well, I'm great, Shaka. What's your question, sir? Shaka, uh, my question to our guest is that sometimes we almost focus on maybe the poverty is the root cause of the, the, the recruitment of these young people to go and join this terror organization. Now, Shaka, history has taught us that some of the people have been arrested or captured who come from the western part of the world. Certainly, we know there's no poverty in the West, but we have some Western country citizens coming to join Boko Haram or ISIS or whatever. Now, my question to our guests is that, don't they think that the charlatans among us, those who call themselves the sheikhs in Islam, are the root causes of our problem? Because they go to the uh, Middle East, learn this Quranic defense. They want to come home, then they come and change the whole... Uh, version of the, the, the Quran. They will come and be teaching people different sorts of Islam uh, uh, altogether. Don't they think that it's also a part of our problem? The charlatans who are destroying our beautiful religion. My religion didn't teach me to kill people or harm my neighbor. But you find some charlatans destroying our image. Don't they think it's our problem? Our uh, Saudi authorities and the Gulf countries, don't they think that it's time for them to invest, especially in Africa, and other poorest countries to teach the people the real, real meaning of Islam than allowing these charlatans to be destroying the Islam. Thank you very much. God bless you, Shaka. You're most welcome, uh, Tafa. Your reaction? Um, I'll address the first um, question. Mm -hmm. um, he asked about the, you know, how some young people, you know, would be given just 200 naira, mm -hmm. you know, and they would happily go and bomb or kill um, people. That shows you how much poverty, you know, has taken root in this place. Mm -hmm. A person who would kill another person for, how much is 200 naira when 200. you translate it to, <laughs> yeah, it's like it's 20 less cents, right. um, less than one dollar. But I also want to kind of go beyond that. There's a system in Northern Nigeria called the Almajiri system, mm -hmm. you know. This is traditionally um, a system where boys are sent to go and live with an Islamic teacher Lots of boys, you know, under the control, under the tutelage of this teacher, and he would teach them the Quran, and they will eventually graduate, just like you graduate in normal schools and all that. Right. Um, so this is a traditional way of getting these kids to initiate them into the knowledge of, um, of Islam mm -hmm. through the teacher, who is usually highly respected and all that. It's a good system, nothing wrong with it, but it's a system that has been proven, mm -hmm. you know, to be capable of being exploited. Mm. You know, by politicians, mm. by unscrupulous people in the society. Mm. And it's said that a lot of the army of Boko Haram came from the ranks of the Almajiris. Mm. Um, mm. If you look at other Islamic countries, Saudi Arabia, they don't have these Almajiris, you know. Mm. So it's not an integral necessary part of Islam. It's a cultural um, kind of um, tradition but in northern but, Nigeria. But, but someone might remind you that uh, Saudi Arabia brought mm. us Osama bin Laden. Yes. I just want to kind of focus on the Almajiri system because he asked me a question about children, you know, mm. being exploited by these people. So I think there has to be some kind of um, reformation in terms of how mm. um, these teachers are allowed to get these children to live with them and to work with them. They have to have greater oversight. Mm. The government has to have a say in how these kids are controlled, are educated, 
So the, go the government has to take, has to provide welfare Precisely. for these kids because ultimately um, they can't take care of themselves. They can't feed themselves. They have to create become... opportunities. Exactly. Mm -hmm.